it all started uh, here. It all started here in Tirana. I guess it started here in this very same environment two years ago with an idea that was uh, flagged by the Prime Minister of uh, why not to open a College of Europe campus in the Western Balkans and Tirana would be happy to host. And uh, the President of the Commission saying why not? Eventually that would be a great idea to have. And I counted on the eventually to be a European standard eventually and two years from that moment I realized that uh, Ursula von der Leyen eventually is a different standard of eventually. Last year we were here exactly in this very same place at the Western Balkan Summit uh, inaugurating our office and uh, I would say even most importantly opening the admissions for the students to apply to the College of Europe branch in Tirana. We had uh, 241 applications, we launched that together. Uh, we did 122 interviews uh, and we selected 32 students of 21 nationalities that are today our first pioneering promotion of uh, the College of Europe Master of Arts in European Transformation and Integration here in Tirana, Promotion Jacques Delors. And uh, I would like to, um, to thank and congratulate our students, of which I'm very proud already, will be even more when you graduate, for making it already to, to this moment. Students from uh, across our continent, in geography and I would say in, in history, in time. Students from Cyprus to Ireland, from Sweden to Spain, from founding member states to the most recent ones and to the next ones most importantly, those who will join our European Union in the coming years. And if the eventually standards are the same as for the implementation of the College of Europe Tirana branch, we have some hopes that the eventually will apply fast also on the reunification of our continent. Students leaving, studying, shaping the present and the future of Europe together as one. This is our college way to continue our 75 years long mission to contribute to the European integration process, empowering, empowering generations of committed, passionate, critical, active citizens across our continent and maybe even most importantly building a community that will have an impact, that will make a change, no matter in which position you will be. If this is possible, if today we share this sense of pride, this emotion, this joy, uh, this is thanks first and foremost to you, Ursula. You have believed in this project in an enormous way and you've put all your energy and your uh, political weight behind this. And with you, the European Commission, colleagues in the GINIA, in the GEAC, all European institutions, the Council, the EU delegation, all with uh, a sense of dedication that I think mirrors the sense of commitment to the renewed momentum of enlargement. Uh, it is thanks to Eddie, a Prime Minister that is for sure visionary and that uh, manages to mobilize government uh, um, potential in an incredible way. Um, all ministers uh, and, uh, and government officials that have accompanied us and helped us in creative and amazing ways, no one excluded. I might maybe only mention Ogerta and Mylinda having accompanied us so much from the very beginning. Um, the city, Erion, uh, the municipality, all uh, that uh, we have that makes us feel so much welcomed and part of the city already. And I'm sure that the students feel citizens of Tirana already, this impressive, amazing city. Um, and with you, the municipality, uh, I was very impressed that both in the parliament and in the city council, our agreements were supported unanimously. And if there is something that unites these countries, for sure the European Union and the College of Europe is proud to be part of this. The partners. The member states, the ambassadors here, uh, without you, uh, the scholarship schemes would have not been activated, uh, all our extracurricular activities. Uh, you have been impressive, incredible in supporting us, and we're very grateful for that. Uh, the partners, the University of Tirana, uh, other universities across the country that make us feel part of this academic environment. The faculty, the staff that worked literally day and night, and I'm grateful to all of them for having jumped on the train that had started already and made it possible. 
But most of all, uh, I would like to thank our students that applied to a program that was not existing yet. <laughs> that was a, a leap of faith. <laughs> Uh, it has been collectively, I think, uh, an act uh, of fate. We have all believed in something that uh, was not existing, that seemed uh, quite impossible. Uh, one year ago only, it seemed very much challenging, if not really impossible to conceive. We all took uh, risks. We all worked very hard. We've been creative. We've been stubborn. We've been determined. We have not given up when uh, we were facing challenges, difficulties, moments of uh, law of despair. We've not given up because I think we have always known the two most important things we have in mind when uh, we want to make change possible. And I believe these are knowing that we are together in this and that uh, it's worth it, that what is at stake is worth the challenge. Today we can celebrate an achievement that is historical for the college community. It is historical, I think, for Tirana, for the Western Balkans, but I think also for the European Commission, for the European Union. It's historical to inaugurate a campus uh, in a country after Bruges and Natalin. Uh, but uh, one of the most important things is maybe the fact that once the college opens a campus, it's here to stay. We celebrate this year 75 years at least for the next 75 years, the college will be here to accompany, to prepare something that is even more historical, the reunification of our continent. And today, I truly believe it will happen. I know there are many that are skeptical. I know there have been many disillusions. I know that it is difficult. Negotiators know that even more than anybody else. But as Nelson Mandela used to say, it always seems impossible until it's done. And it seemed impossible to build the European Union 75 years ago when the college started as a visionary project to unite countries that were fighting against each other and that became part of the same political community. It seemed impossible to enlarge the European Union to the east in the Big Bang enlargement of 2004 and that the Natalin campus anticipated and prepared. And if someone thinks that it's impossible for the European Union to complete its unification, I would say today the same thing. It seems impossible until it's done. So the College of Europe is proud. I am personally very proud and emotional to contribute making impossible changes realities. And uh, with that, I think that we can start our celebrations tonight. Thank you.